Hey, Pokey Zoners, this is new name 4505. And, um, yeah, random ads were popping up because of yeah, reasons. But, anyways, um, we've got a UU battle here versus Prince Neos. And this is a pretty neat UU team. It's a sand semi stall team that I was testing because I basically spent all of today and yesterday using specially defensive Aerodactyl. And it's worked out pretty well as an offensive stall breaker thing, Majigger. I don't know. But anyways, he leads off with his Azelf and sets up the Reflect. And he's a dual screener, which is pretty cool. I mean, the role is better filled by Ooxy as a dual screener, but, um, you know, oh well. So I switch out to my Derek Rose here because he's going to set up screen, so I don't really fear anything. And I can try and set up some spikes. So he's going to go for the rain dance, and I saw he had a king around his team, and that's specifically why I decided to keep my hip up a toss around, just in case. Um, he was a variant that would set up its own rain dance and interrupt my sand, so I stayed in with my rose rate specifically to see whether he was a physical or a special king drew. If he was a special king drew, then um, I'd be kind of screwed, but since he is a physical king drew, I knew that my hip up a toss could A, set up sandstorm and interrupt his rain dance. And then B kind of take this thing on. So he's going to go for the waterfall. And I'm just going to roar him out of there. And he's going to go out to his Porygon Z. Or Z for you people in the States. And I racked up some nice entry hazard damage. So I'm going to go out to my Cofagragus. And the reason why I'm using Cofagragus over, say, something like Dusclops is because Cofagragus does have access to the leftovers. So that works out much better in the Sandstorm. But anyways, I'm... I forgot about the download boost when I was running my calcs, so because of that, um, I would normally be able to live a dark pulse, but I also didn't take into account life orb, so with life orb anyway, I wouldn't be able to live. So it doesn't matter, so I go out to my IT guy because it's the Technotop, because you had no technician, lol, 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 and then I take out his Porygon Z with um, a fake out. And then I take out his King Drew with a Mach Punch. I don't even know why he brought in his King Drew there since I'm obviously Technician. For whatever, so I switch out to my Derek Rose as he sets up the Reflect. And now he's going to set up the Light Screen this turn as I set up my third and final layer of spikes. And right here I miscounted the amount of spikes that I had set up. So he's going to go out to his Lilligen here. And I'm going to go for another layer of spikes. And the King I only had two up, but I actually had three. So that kind of sucks. But you know, oh well, so I'm going to switch out to my Hippopotas as the probable Sleep Fodder. As he is probably just going to go ahead and set up a, layer, a Quiver Dance, and I'm thinking he has the Lumberry since he doesn't have any leftovers. So I'm going to go out to my IT guy here because I know that I have that priority. So I should be fine. So I'm going to go for the Fake Out. It's not going to quite take him out. But the good news is, is that after Sandstorm damage and my Mog Punch, which naturally does more than a Fake Out because of Stab, is going to be e easily be able to take him out. I get a useless crit there because, like I said, after Stab and Sandstorm damage, it doesn't matter. So he's going to bring out his Mew. I'm going to switch out thinking that my him on top will be useful for later, which it actually is because Technotop is very underrated. I know Intimitop is a lot more popular because spike stacking is popular nowadays in UU, but Technotop can really hold its own. Anyways, I've got my Suicune here. It's a standard bulky Crocoon. I used to run a special custom spread on my Crocoons, and they were actually decently effective, but I figured, but um, I tried out the standard smoke on set with max defense and max HP, and it's worked out better for me than my standard custom spread. With max defense, max special defense with Tim and Nature. Because Tim and Nature for the win. I don't know why. I just heard it from one random dude that I was battling. They're like, oh, you're using Sweet Coon wrong since I was using an offensive Coon. I'm like, offensive Coon's just fine, but offensive Coon completely failed for me. So he's like, here, try out this Sweet Coon set. So it gives me the spread for Crow Coon, and then gives me this Eevee spread. And I'm like, okay, since I gave it to me in like October when I was still a scrub. And it worked all right for me, but I kind of like this better. So anyways, here's my Aerodactyl, who's special defensive. And I'm going to go for the Taunt to right now, I'm setting up Shell Smashers. And he goes for the Ice Beam here, so I go for the Toxic. He turns out to have the Lumberry, but I break his Lumberry and then go for the Toxic again. As he goes for the Ice Beam, and I'm like, um, why aren't you surfing? 
or hydro pumping or whatever you have, but whatever. So I'm going to go for the roost here, predicting it to shell smash this turn or something. Along those lines are just ice beam, because I'm thinking that he's just going to keep ice beaming, but no matter. So Aerodactyl didn't do much work that battle, but my IT guy can just come in and revenge kill him. Unfortunately, I don't have very much time left with him on top because of the fact that, um, yeah, see, it's Storm and Life Orbs wearing it down. So, Azelf is the only poke he has left. I go for the Sucker Punch, thinking that it's not going to do that much, but whatever it's worth going for, and then he just chooses to set up the Reflect anyway. As I just go for the Mock Punch, thinking that he's just going to set up his screen as kind of a last thing, since I do have both physical and special attackers left. And I go and Death Fodder off my Sleeping Hippopotas, mostly just to rack up an extra turn of Sandstorm damage, because... Since I am a defensive Rose Reed, I'm not sure how much this Ledge Bomb is going to do with him behind the light screen. Plus, I know that the Psychic is a clean to a KO from Azelf because it has a great special attack stat and then reliable, powerful stab attack in Psychic. But, regardless, I am able to take him out, and that is a good game, Prince and Eos. I hope you all enjoyed it on the PokeZoners channel. If you did enjoy, please check out my channel. I'll appreciate any views, subs, likes, comments, my videos, anything. If you haven't subbed to the members of the Pokezoners or the Pokezoners channel, please do that, and peace.